Good morning. It is uh, this is Brandon. It's Thursday, April first. Uh, I have a couple of trades to show today. Um, I after I recorded and posted the video yesterday, I took a, a I started a new position on Apple. Um, this was uh, this is quite a bit different than the normal trick trades type strategy this is I mean this really wasn't um, really this wasn't really the trick trade strategy per se uh, it was more of just my own kind of just trading options trading options the trick trades way but um, based on a different sort of technical analysis and a different sort of um, trade setup let's say um, for the most part I was I recognized that this was a really really solid strong move on Apple yesterday this is yesterday's uh, uh, price action and so I basically bought this dip here down to the VWAP um, and I I bought it with the uh, the 122 calls expiring today um, and uh, it, it didn't go so well into the close. Um, I did average into the position and I, and I did scale out. But by the end of the day, um, I was still holding on to um, six contracts. And you see, I, I did get out of four um, right there at, um, that was about 215. Um, you know, so 45 minutes before the bell. But then it just... Um, really cratered into the end of the day um, but I wasn't concerned about it because of uh, I, I'm also a subscriber to uh, Peter Reznicek uh, shadow trader dot net um, and he does a, a lot of uh, different kinds of technical analysis including the volume profile and um, uh, I think yesterday it was uh, yesterday into the close it was what he calls a poor low um, so I, 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 I just I just stuck it out. I just hung on to those last six contracts. Um, I think I was profitable on, on what I had done here, um, but certainly I was uh, I was in the red on that position to the tune of I think a couple hundred bucks um, going into the close. But I had a good um, I had conviction that uh, that the Nasdaq would rally overnight. Um, and that we'd have a, a gap open, and uh, fortunately, that that thesis came true. Um, so started the position here. Uh, you can see um, it was actually a little bit after that dip to the to the VWAP. I was trading it more of sort of like a double bottom. Um, so bought some contracts there, um, and again, you can see the crosshairs. Bought. A couple more contracts right there, slightly below. I was I was kind of treating it like you know standard risk off of this uh, this price here. Um, bought some more contracts there, and bought the last tranche, last couple of contracts right there. Um, so right into that last low. This was also uh, I. <laughs> I do a bit, little bit of um, amateur Elliott wave analysis as well, and so this was uh, I was considering this to be a corrective pullback, um, and uh, I didn't expect this, but um, I, I did expect that this would this would be a, a, a pretty decent uh, low to add the last couple of contracts. So I took a couple off, uh, added them back in. And took four off, leaving myself with six contracts coming into this morning. Um, and then this morning was was very nice, uh, right here. You know, overnight uh, the the NQs rallied pretty hard last night and op gapped up on the open this morning. And so I started paying myself on these last uh, six contracts um, right at the open. Um, took one off at a buck, uh, a dollar eighty, right on the opening candle. Um, 
took another one off at a dollar seventy five right here on that candle um, then we got that nice push really wish I'd taken more than just one but uh, I pretty much top ticked it right here on that candle for 219 um, on that my average price on these these remaining six contracts was about a dollar ten um, so nice nice profit there booked on half my position then I just decided to see you know where is it gonna go and um, it was still ranging above my my entry price for the most part um, took another one off there right there on that push right up to VWAP so took another one off leaving myself only two contracts uh, and then it just sort of sort of uh, started selling off so I took the last two off for uh, just a few bucks uh, you know five five or six bucks on those last two contracts and that was it for the trade so total profit on that in, in, including commissions was 304.59 um, then uh, the other trade I took was on AMD very very small trade uh, it's only Thursday, but tomorrow the market is closed, so I was treating it like a Friday, uh, trading really small. Plus, I had that that fairly good sized um, pro and fairly profitable position on on Apple, so wasn't too concerned about trying to hit this. I wish I'd hit it with you know maybe five uh, or <laughs> ten would have been even better. But as it turns out, I just played. Um, I played. Basically, I was playing the. Uh, the the level um let's see the level on amd this morning from the pre-market plan of attack was was 79.60 so i was basically trading that level 79.60 from the pre-market plan of attack um pat was out today so it was kelvo and he did a great job as usual um so it grabbed a couple of contracts there this was really a starter position. My intention was to actually trade it a bit lower and build a larger um, position into a lower level that we had at 79.13, uh, right here, a uh, high of day from yesterday. Um, but it didn't, it didn't get down there. So this is really meant to be just a starter position with plans to add on to the position into this level um, and maybe even more if it started to invade the standard risk, but it never did, um, it just bounced instantly and so you know why not i'll just go ahead and pay myself um so closed one for a dollar four closed the other one for a dollar 25 um that's uh 43 cents that's like that's almost no that's better than um a 50 percent gain on on that little guy is that right yeah 40 uh, 82 to dollar 25 is 43 cents and that's a bit more than half so nice little 50 percent banger on that uh, trade there um less than 50 percent on the first contract but a little over 50 percent on the second contract so cool it was good for 62 dollars and 93 cents and i'm done for the day done for the week and that's it for the video today i hope you enjoyed it uh, hope it helps. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment and that will help me uh, grow the channel and put these videos in front of other struggling day traders. Um, so hopefully they can have a chance to turn around their day trading as I have been able to with this uh, tremendous strategy at Trick Trades. So Go ahead and join us at tricktrades.com. You can use coupon code TT20. Uh, hopefully it still works. Uh, it saves you 20% off your first month of guidance membership. If you'd like to email me, you can at uh, believetrader at gmail.com. Other than that, thanks very much for watching the video. Hope everybody has a great weekend. I'll see you next week.